What's going on everybody? Blackstang610 back again with another episode of Mossy Pine Ranch. It is bright and early. Uh, I believe John is up before me and out. Um, I, I looked, he wasn't in the house and coming out here, looks like his truck's gone. Um, he might be down below getting stuff prepped for soybeans today. Um, we have two fields to harvest today and then we'll have this uh top one up here in a couple days uh looked at the moisture content and it just wasn't quite ready uh so we're gonna leave that one another day or two uh but yeah we uh we had a little bit of a scare um we had that thunderstorm roll through we actually moved everything out of the barn uh because it it was kind of creaking and making noises that i haven't heard before uh, this barn is at least probably 50 to 70 years old. I mean, it's not as, I don't know. I, I just, as a precaution, I was like, you know what? It's, it's raining. It's windy. I would hate for this to come down and destroy equipment or something like that. So, uh, we got it out of here, cleared it out. Uh, we're going to utilize the garage down below for now, uh, which actually we're going to head down there right now. Um, as you can see, we got the harvester ready. But I think I heard the skid steer running. I'm wondering if John's not uh, working on tomatoes. I don't know. Let's hop in the Kubota and take a ride down. It was a heck of a storm last night. Wind was just ripping. Um... We managed to get the corn offloaded right before the rain really started coming down. Uh, so we managed to keep the corn from getting wet, but it was just hollering. Oh yeah, he is here. Look at that. Loading up tomatoes. Oh, I'll park up here. I have to get some equipment down below anyway. Oh yeah, look at that. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Yeah, you know, I'm hanging in there. Hey, you didn't wake me up. You let me sleep in. Yeah, I figured, you know, what the heck. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you up before me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens every now and then. Yeah, every now and then. Uh, I'm going to take these down to the restaurant. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to get the harvester down back and get some of the, uh, tractors down below and we'll, uh, we got soybeans down below. I checked that field up there. Uh, 32. It's just not quite ready. It's not the moisture content yet. So I think we're going to leave it go another day. All right, sounds good. But we'll get the two, the big one, and then the little one down below done today for sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anything else going on? Nope. Not that right. I can think of at this moment anyway. Cool. Uh, I'm going to fire up tractors, get them warmed up, and get stuff down below. All right. Cool. The old international. We'll probably get the J and M down there as well. And the Lodestar. We'll probably leave there just in case, you know, another storm rolls through or something. I don't want to have too much equipment out in the open. But we got, uh, got this big, the, the two fields that we turned into one, which we'll start with. 
probably just park these up right here. Yeah, that'll work for now. Uh, we actually came down here last night after the, uh, the storm had passed and, you know, everything calmed down a bit and did a little, uh, late night corn harvesting. I uh, got that all finished up and it's soybean day today. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll get you guys turned back on as soon as we get all the equipment down here. All right. We got all the equipment down here and ready to go. Harvesters fired up and we are officially on to soybeans. Just waiting on John figured I'd get started. He should be rolling back down here any minute. Uh, getting back from the, uh, the restaurant down there, dropping those tomatoes off. Oh, yeah, look, there he is. John, you got a copy? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. So, uh, I'm going to try to do this, you know, um, without needing the load star if we don't, if we don't have to use it. So I brought the uh, the other case down here with the kill bros If we need it if you feel like you're getting overloaded uh, Let me know You know, we'll go up and grab it, but okay. I didn't wash it out from all the corn dust. So we might have to wash it out first yeah. Hey john yeah, go ahead. yeah, I'm at like 82% um, weight wise. I'm going to get up here and flip around this pass. If you want to get lined up, I'll try to, uh, you know, pipe out and offload as we're coming down on the next pass down. Uh, looks like yeah, come in towards me a little bit. There you are Holding steady six miles an hour just about Right there hold it Speed up. Yep. There you go Right there All right, good stuff. I'll uh, I'll swing over and offload. pass then we move on to the big field probably grab some lunch hey did you see what was on the specials menu down there at the restaurant today no nah, i didn't even look ah i'm getting hungry <laughs> you don't have to tell me. All right. Put that pipe in. Yeah, let's go grab some lunch. I'm hungry. All right. Oh man, I'm so full. I love oh, their BLTs down there. Oh yeah, they're the best. 
that's BLTs around. Mm -hmm. hey, did you catch that uh, ad for that uh, local person selling uh, chickens? No, I didn't. Yeah, apparently somebody's selling some chickens. Might be a good way to make some money. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we have enough space. We could do a small chicken coop. Yeah. Be like the tomatoes, maybe, you know, maybe yeah. we can even get a contract with the restaurant for eggs. That yeah, wouldn't hurt to try. Oh. I mean, Did way, you, uh, so you write down his easy. number? Yeah, I got it. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe give him a call, see what his prices are. Yeah, we'll do. Get a couple hens. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, let's get back to let's get this done. Uh, you want to move the two tractors over? I'll get started. Yep, sounds good. All right. All right, here we go. Round two. <laughs> got to get these weeds under control john that sprayer should come in handy next season but yeah i'm i'm a little worried on what i'm seeing up here in this backfield it's it's kind of looking like a low yield right now i'm i'm, I'm not sure no, that's not good i mean it's a big field we got a lot of soybeans here but I don't know, man. We'll have yeah, to see. Have Time to, uh, will tell as we finish this field off. Yeah, I'll have to break out the sprayer next season. I'm all the way around back. I'm coming back down the other side on the head row, and I'm only at 20. Looks like about 26%, 27%. I look like you're coming up towards me. Your timing's immaculate. I'm at about a uh, 90%. Oh, I can. All right, I'm going to stop right here. Perfect. Hey, you want to, uh, you want to hop in this thing? I'll take the tractor, give you a chance to harvest a little. Man. Meet you back around. All right, sounds good. All right, John's out there harvesting. I'll get this uh, little bit of soybean off.
All right. John, how you holding up out there? I'm good. You going to make it back around to offload? Meh, hopefully. I'm at 38%. Okay. Yeah, you should make it back down here. You know, I forgot up there where you're at right now. We got those two grass fields up there. Yeah. I forgot grandpa owns those. We, uh, we could probably put, I don't know if we want to put like sheep or something out there, but we could probably do something with some animals up that way. Yeah. Just might have to yeah, hire somebody yeah. to make a, uh, access road for us. So we're not cutting through the fields. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I know. Something to consider. So, uh, Bruce called me when you're up in the okay. field. He and his, uh, guys brought the, the hay wagons back down. Oh, okay. Parked them where they were. Um, paid a pretty good, pretty good penny. I think he said about 10, 10 or so grand again. Oh, nice. Yeah, not bad. Actually, uh, yeah, go ahead and stop. I'm gonna hop off. I want to go look at this field. Pick me up on the next time around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this would work. Not a super big, like. I mean, we can mow this and bale it. House right there. I mean, if we could get permission. Oh, there's a lake. I forgot the lake was here. Right there. Oh. There's that truck. So that must be Tom's uh, tractor supply right there. So this is. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Okay. I need to find out. I'm going to have to talk to the town. If this lake is grandpa's. We could build an access road literally right here, right down through here, back in along this lake. We'll probably come up, you know, up here a bit. I might have to cut down a couple trees. Oh, uh, uh, uh. branches. And then come down just along this tree line. That could work. Hmm. You know, we'll, we'll keep some of this for maybe we take half of it and turn it into, you know, oat or, uh, barley or something that like chickens eat. I don't know. I don't even know what to eat. I'd have to, I have to research that. Um, you know, we'll flatten it out. A little bit better put a little chicken coop here maybe you can get some sheep this this could work hmm. john you're on to something yeah yeah i think so there's a, a little pond up there by tom's uh tractor supply i gotta talk to the township and see if we own that if we own that we have an we have space for an access road. Okay. We'll just have to uh, find out if if he actually owns that. I know we own these two fields. I'm just not sure if our property goes to the road or not. Man. So. But you're on to something. You are definitely on to something. Make sure if you guys are enjoying the content, press that like. 
hit that subscribe button it, it does help out the channel immensely hit that little bell if you want to be notified and let me know down in the comments below are you enjoying the series is there anything that you want to see us do uh we are we are open to suggestions uh this has been an absolute blast to record and I, i'm super super thankful for all the support that you all have given uh to this series so like i said make sure you like make sure you subscribe and uh appreciate everyone as we as we close in on i believe 700 subs with our ultimate push to get to a thousand so thank you guys boy john you see that sky yep starting to uh cloud up and it's got kind of a green hue to it yeah it's kind of weird i think uh, i think we got a storm coming again yeah let me look oh yeah there's some storms in the forecast what uh what time are they they thinking uh, between 10 and 12. Ooh, okay all right, we got to hammer this out then. I'm going to finish up this little top portion. Almost done. How full is that load star, John? 72%. And I got 35 on me right now. Probably going to be about 40% when I finish the field. I'll offload directly into the load star and whatever's left. I'll put in that J and M bin. Okay. And I think what we'll do is we'll go take that load star up and sell it first thing in the morning. We're done. All right, I got it all. Well, we got everything uh, undercover in just the nick of time. Yeah, no kidding. It is coming down out there. Hey, man, appreciate your help. Yeah. yeah no we'll, problem. uh, I guess, I don't know, like, we'll take the Kubota up. Yeah. Probably get wet, but oh well. Hit the hay and uh, tomorrow morning we sell. Yep, sounds good. We'll take that stuff up. I don't know, I'll have to look online, see what the commodity prices are going for. Yep. Ah, it is coming down. Hopefully we'll be able to harvest this field tomorrow. Well, crap. Yep, typical. First of November and here we are. Yep. Luckily it's just passing thunderstorms. I think we'll still be able to get it sold today. I don't know if we're gonna be able to harvest that field though. Yeah, probably not. Definitely probably too wet. I mean it is coming down. Yep. <sighs> All right. All right, we are back. 
uh, rain is finally let up. It is almost noon. Got the 4440 hooked up. Uh, John's over there in the Lodestar and uh, just got off the phone with Tom and he is actually looking for some soybean. So we're going to go take it up to his place and uh, get it sold. Boy, these are heavy. I can hear this thing struggling. Hey, uh, John, you got a copy on the CB? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and pass me. This thing's kind of struggling. These things are real heavy. Okay. Just kind of lead me up there. There we go. Getting a little speed built up. Don't spill any here. Grab that high gear and hammer down. <laughs> to a whopping 28. <laughs> Yeah, I think we need to upgrade our tractors. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I'm, I'm 33. I'll take it. Downhill, it's it's okay. We got a lot of weight behind me, though. Yeah. And he did a little work up here since last time I was up here. It looks good. Nice. Well, it's a gravity feds are gonna take a minute. We'll uh, we'll pick you guys back up when we're offloaded All right, so we got the second one offloading right now. We're at about 15 grand for uh, That first wagon Here we'll get probably about the same for this one uh, We are For for the amount that we had to harvest Plus we have the corn plus the tomatoes. We're in a good spot going into winter time. Uh, we're going to be able to make some necessary improvements to the farm. And I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what winter brings. We got one more field of soybeans to harvest. Uh, as soon as it dries out a bit. Yep. There you go. $15,420 plus what was in the load star. So at least I'm going to say 45 grand today, maybe even a little more than that. That's a good day. Uh, but with that said, we are going to wrap up today's episode. 
thank you all so much for tuning in uh again if you haven't already make sure you hit that like hit that subscribe follow on social media uh black stank 610 everywhere you're gonna see it on tiktok twitch instagram twitter um link down below for my personal discord you're gonna want to be in that come on over come uh join the family we do giveaways we're actually planning on another subscriber giveaway here very shortly uh after we crest 700 subscribers so you're gonna want to make sure you get in for that and as always a huge shout out to fighter uh check him out at twitch.tv uh slash f g h t r 3803 and a huge shout out to kate my editor uh which without them uh none of this content would be as great as what you're seeing it so uh kudos to them thank you to both of them and we will see you all next time peace